This question is from Kim 1025C, Chapter 2, Question 10 on the homework. Um, the numbers on your example might be slightly different because uh, when there's numbers like this in a homework problem, they vary them depending uh, just from question to question. So question 10 says a 28 milliliter sample of ethyl alcohol. So it's giving me a volume. It tells me on my example that I have 28 milliliters and it tells me it's ethyl alcohol and it says it has a density of 0 0.789 grams per milliliter. So they gave me a volume of my sample and a density of my sample. And it says it's added to a graduated cylinder that has a mass of 40.3 grams. So this is not the mass of my liquid. This is the mass of the cylinder that I am placing it in. And then the question is, what will the mass of the cylinder plus the alcohol be? So I have the mass of the cylinder. This is given. And I can use the density to calculate the mass of the alcohol. And then I can add them together to figure out what the total would be. So the equation of density is density equals mass divided by volume. So looking here, I am given in my problem density and volume. So I can plug those two numbers in and solve for my unknown, which is mass. So 0 0.789 grams per milliliter, that's the density, would equal the mass. I'm just going to write m for mass, that's what I'm solving for, divided by 28.0 milliliters. So to solve for my unknown here, mass, I'm going to multiply the 28 over to the other side, like cross multiplying. So then I would have 28.0 milliliters times 0 0.789 grams per milliliter. That's going to equal my mass. Now, some students have a hard time, especially in the introductory level, keeping their units as they solve the problem. I encourage you to try to do it because what you're going to see it helps me cancel and I can kind of check as I go along, make sure I'm ending up with the right units. But if that's what's solving you for if that's what's stopping you from solving the problem correctly, then go ahead and take the units out. But remember, your final answer should have a number and a unit. So if I'm solving this here, look, milliliters cancels with milliliters, and I have grams. And that kind of thing always makes me feel satisfied because that would be the correct unit for mass. So now in my calculator, I'm going to say 28, 28.0. 28, the calculator won't care if I put the point zero or not. And then I multiply by whatever's above the, um, in the numerator, above the line. So times 0.789. And then it's grams per milliliter. You can think of that as a one. So anything below the line or in the denominator would be divided by. So it'd be like divided by one. But again, divided by one doesn't change the value. So you wouldn't really have to do that in your calculator. And so my mass, when I solve this 28 times 0.78 9.789, I get 22.092 grams. Now, in terms of significant figures, this is multiplication. So my 28 has three sig figs, and 0.789 has three sig figs. So we would go with the one that has the least, but they both have three. So I'm going to write my answer as 22.1 grams. 
Now this is the mass of the alcohol, right? Because I use the volume of the alcohol and the density. And if you reread the problem, it says, um, what is the mass of the cylinder plus the alcohol? So to figure out both of them, I'm going to add the cylinder, which was given, to the alcohol that I just calculated. They're both in grams. And so then I get 0, 4, 2, 6. Now, in addition and subtraction, you have to look at decimal places, not total significant figures. And this number has 2 past the decimal. This number only has 1. So we go with the number that is the least precise. Whoops, I, I have the wrong marker, sorry. I don't think I can reverse that. The least precise, so I go down here and my answer would be 62.4 grams. So together, the cylinder and the alcohol are 62.4 grams. So keep practicing, maybe put this problem down and then try to do it again without looking at any of the work that you've done so that you know you understand it and you've got it.